We're told that a compound curve is needed for a new piece of highway to tie into an existing piece. The existing curve is next to the PC, and once it's tied into the new curve, has the following data. It has a inter an intersecting angle of 27 degrees, 14 minutes, 33 seconds to the right, and has a radius of 550 feet. The new part of the highway is to tie into that old part, has an intersecting angle of 37 degrees, 15 minutes, 26 degrees to the right, and a radius of 780 feet. We're told that the PI is located at station 124 plus 26.08, and we're asked to find the stations for the PC, the PCC, and the PT. So starting with, with our drawing, what, what does this compound curve look like? And we know that the, the new curve is larger and it comes in the second half. So our, our old curve is first, it ties in at the PC. The new curve has a larger radius. So we're gonna let that new curve, the new part of new curve that's tying into the old portion be R1. So R1 is gonna be 780 feet and R2 is gonna be 550 feet. So we need to make sure all the subscripts of one go with that larger radius and the subscript two go with the smaller radius curve and the associated uh, variables and parameters related to those. The overall delta is the sum of the two deltas. That's gonna be 64.49 degrees for that total intersecting angle or deflection uh, delta. And again, what we're gonna focus on here in terms of the tangents that we wanna calculate, T2 is what we're gonna need. We're given the PI, we need to go back to the PC, then along to the PCC, and then finally the PT. So a lot of calculations here. We're gonna start with the lengths of curves. L1 is radius of curve one times delta one times pi divided by 180, so 780 times 37 degrees, 15 minutes, 26 seconds times pi divided by 180 gives us a length of 507.2 feet for L1. And it's important to realize, and we'll see this with the, with the drawing, L2, L1 is actually the second curve you encounter because the one, the subscript one goes with the larger radius curve. Same thing for L2, calculations are the same, but we have the radius of 550 and then the delta two. So L2 is 261.51 feet. Now we have T1, so this is the, the small t that's associated with the individual curve, not the overall compound curve system. So this is R1 times the tangent of delta one divided by two. So this equals 780 times the tangent of 37 degrees, 15 minutes, 26 seconds divided by two, gives us a, a small T1 of 262.93 feet. Similar equation for T2, we're gonna get a value of 133.27 feet. And now's the important equation that's gonna associate distances and angles with our geometry of this compound curve so we can solve for the important values that we're gonna to need to solve this problem. So this is the equation that's provided in the NCWS reference handbook. And we can start plugging in the values that we, we know. We, we're gonna to wanna to solve VG and for, for VG and VH, the distance uh, between those points, V is at the PI and then G and H were listed on that, on the drawing. Uh, we're dividing each of those by the sine of their deltas. And that is equal to adding up T1 and T2 divided by the sine of that overall delta. So we're gonna solve each of these individually the, the distance VG is equal to sine of 27.24 multiplied by 262.93 plus 133.27 divided by the sine of 64.49. That gives us a distance or a length of 200.94 feet. Similarly, for the distance VH, uh, that's a sine of 37.26 degrees multiplied by 262.93 plus 133.27 divided by the sine of 64.49 gives us a length of 265.78.
So looking at our drawing again now, we, again, we've got our small radius curve is first, and that's what was given to us in the description. We start with the PI, that's at V. We're going to go back from the PI, that's going to take us to the PC, the distance T sub 2, and that's going to, we're going to add our, our two values here, 265 plus 78 plus 133.27, that's what we calculated on the previous page, and that gives a, a distance of 399.05, and that's going to take us to the PC. Then we're going to move along from the PC along L2, that's the length for curve 2. L2 comes before L1 in this case because the smaller radius curve is first. That will take us to the point of compound curvature, the PCC. And then finally, we'll move along the distance L1 to reach the point of tangency, the PT. And finally, doing the math, adding these up, we started with a PI. It was given as station 124 plus 26.08. We're going to subtract off T2 that we calculated of 3 plus 99.05. Gives us the PC station of 120 plus 27.03. We're going to now add L2. And again, it's, it's a little bit odd that we're adding L2 before L1, but it's because the way the curve is arranged and the given information that we had in the problem that has a length of 2 plus 61.51. That'll take us to the point of compound curvature, which is station 122 plus 88.54. Finally, we're going to add L sub 1, which has a length of 5 plus 07.20, which will give us our PT station of 127 plus 95.74. And that's what this shows us what we were asked for in the problem. We were asked for the station of the PC the PCC, and the PT, and those are the values for this problem.